everyone. Welcome back. Welcome. If you're new here, I'm so happy that you came to watch what I bought from Aldi. I got everything laid out. I'm going to show you what I got from Aldi. Today's Aldi haul is a after vacation haul. So the house was pretty empty, a little bit of stock up. I spent $197.65. Aldi has so many great things. I have so much to show you. I recorded some of the fun things, you know, that Aldi uh, Isle of Shame. Uh, it was, some was so gorgeous. I almost bought everything. Uh, so let me show you some of the stuff that uh, Aldi has that you should check out if you're in the market for some things. And then let me show you the haul. So the first thing, I did end up stopping at Starbucks. They opened a new one right by me. I got um, a oat milk, honey, flat white, uh, iced. It was really delicious. Highly recommend. There I showed you the goldfish that they have. Look at this chair. So fancy. $299 though. A little too expensive for me. And then they had a couple different options. These are fireplaces for outside wood burning. I think both are wood burning um, fire pits to have by your house. $99 for that one. This is the first thing that caught my eye right by the door. Uh, inflatable stand-up paddle board. Super fun. That looked fun for $199. Kind of expensive. And I know there's a heat wave going on. These fans, $44.99. I couldn't believe it. That just seems like such a high price. I don't know if that's what they are by you. Um, this thing is so cute. A nice little outdoor poof. Possibly you could sit on it. Might just cave in. $29.99. Very stylish and cute. A couple different options of outdoor pillows. Um, a little more colorful, a little more plain, $14.99, not a bad price. And they have these rattan cubed planter. You put uh, your plant in there, $16.99, very nice. And a couple different kinds of uh, things to plant if you are into that. Oh, I was really interested in this rug. I thought I might get that. That is like an indoor-outdoor type rug feel. It was more of a runner though. It was longer for $14.99. I am a sucker for an Aldi candle. These are in a terracotta pot and they have a bunch of different scents. Um, they did smell really good. I did pass only $5.29 um, but I did not get one that day. Really wanted to. Oh and I wanted this too. A wax warmer. Look at that. And this one that looks like a canning jar. Oh so cute. And only $9.99. Why didn't I buy that? I should go back. And then they also have diffusers. If you like the diffusers, $14.99. Really cute. So much fun stuff. Just can't get it all. I'm just giving you a shot of everything here because I just wanted to look at everything. I had really thought of this. Do you have one of these? This pineapple core? I had one and we broke it. This one's only $4.99. So didn't think it was going to last. On the other aisle, they had these fans, box fan, $22.99. Still a little pricey, but they do have air conditioners. Who would have thought? $149 might be worth it. They got some pedestal fans. Here in Michigan, it's not that hot, so there were just plenty available. I hear that there weren't in some other places. Oh my goodness. Did you see these earrings? Do you guys watch Kim Wadsworth? She would have loved those little pineapples. There's lemons. All the little shapes. Little cherries. Aren't those so adorable? Look at those lemon slices. So cute. Just adorable. $6.99. That's the first time I've seen jewelry at Aldi. This bag is really cute. I was trying to get a view from the inside, but I didn't open it up. It has the lining because it's a cooler. $9.99. Um, and then these ladies swimsuits. I don't think I do a too good of a job showing it, but it's really cute. They have two options. Um, $9.99. How you can't beat that price. That's such a good deal. It has a cute little keyhole top there. That's what I'm trying to show you. So it's got a little style to it and everything. So 
You know, Aldi, who knew? Did not know they sell these things. More swimsuits. That one you don't get to see as well. It's in the box. I think that one is $14.99. Yep. A couple more pajama sets. Oh, yes. I did end up getting a pajama set. I'll show you in my haul. Um, but they had ones that were shorts, and they had ones that were little tank tops. Um, so cute with the little watermelons and stripes for the summertime coming up. $10. $9.99. Great deal. A couple tank tops. $8.99 and these are pants. I actually have these myself. That's why I was feeling them. They are a little bit thicker. They're not so thin. Uh, $9.99. Some more Bermuda style leggings. Some men's shirts. Oh, pajama shirts. $7.99. Swim trunks. They had men's swim trunks too. And you could kind of see what they look like there. $9.99. What else did they have? Oh, some children's things. Look at that. How cute. A little cover up. If you've got kids, their prices just can't be beat. $9.99. Check out Aldi for all the summertime fun. I was looking for goggles for Olivia. She's looking for the ones that cover the nose. And that wasn't the style they had available here. But for $4.99, that is a great deal. Amazing gotta pick those up look at them lights look how pretty your yard can just be so beachy like you're on a vacation $14.99 so nice a little light up decoration for your yard $9.99 so just I love this aisle of Aldi you never know what you're gonna find all these random different things I was gonna stop recording and saw these $7.49 just amazing that you can't get a better price than that look at how stylish that looks I give you a better picture here on the tag so cute $7.49 why didn't I get those and this lantern these fake candles in there two different styles those are I mean you would never guess that's at Aldi for $12.99 you try to find that at TJ Maxx you are spending so much more than that and these cute little um, I think that's a bird bath stand 1829 okay I'm gonna go around the table show you all the things we got obviously after vacation eating I need some healthy things <laughs> so we have got some lemons here uh, lemons were pretty pricey I uh, put the price up here four to five dollars but there is Five in there, five lemons, so not bad. A cucumber, some onions. This was um, new to me seeing this there, riced cauliflower. This is a frozen product. Uh, I thought that would be easy for me for some lunch. Some leftover dinner with some riced cauliflower would be good. Uh, got some yellow potatoes, some bag of lettuce with coleslaw. I like to mix these two uh, to bulk, bulk this up a little bit, give it a little different texture. With my salad, same thing, salad for lunch, some cheese with that, it's great. Bell peppers, I got the tricolor and the green. I plan on making chicken fajitas one day in the crock pot this week, so that'll be good. More cauliflower, I love it. And this is a giant, honkin' chonkin', huge cauliflower. So when they sell it by the piece, always try to find the biggest one. That looks delicious. Grapes on sale for a dollar a pound, always good. Some spinach. Strawberries, looked good. Got a little mixture of bananas, some, some for now and some for later. Ooh, watermelon. So uh, this has those marks like this on it that you want to see. You want it nice and green and then, here we go, a nice big yellow spot. Oh, there we go. A nice yellow spot on the bottom. This thing was very heavy. Should be super good and delicious. Frozen area here. We got some frozen blueberries and some tropical blend. This is pretty much we do morning smoothies. Uh, we got two different yogurts back here. Um, a plain Greek yogurt. They were short on these really big things of yogurt like we normally buy. These were actually the only two options they had that were in the plain. 
We prefer the plain and then add our own sweetener, maybe some honey or something to it. Um, they had a bunch of other vanilla and strawberry flavors, but those were the two options in plain, so I got them both. But yep, we do the uh, tropical fruit blend or some blueberries. Um, like I said, some honey. That's a delicious breakfast smoothie. I uh, got some orange juice. I like having this in the freezer. This is that frozen concentrate. We even sometimes just do a little scoop and make a single serve, you know, morning orange juice for yourself. You don't have to make it as a whole pitcher. Um, and then we just put the lid back on, put it back in the freezer. Sweet and salty nut bars. These are great for snacks on the go. It's summertime. We're all on the go doing our things. A couple different cracker options for myself. Sounded good uh, this week, one of my lunches, to do an adult Lunchable. Just some cheese, meats, and crackers. So I got these rosemary and olive oil. Some pita sea salt crackers. Some Cheez-Its. And then they have the giant bag. They know the kids are home. Love the Flavor Blasted Goldfish. Super big bag. So we got that. This is maybe my little bit of stock up area. I watched another YouTuber and she had the suggestion that you spend $5 of your budget each week to stock up on something. It's a slow build of your pantry. That way you'll have something. And I chose evaporated milk. Um, these are a dollar a can. Um, they last a super long time. I do cook with them, but they're also a staple stock up because it's evaporated. I believe you reconstitute it with some water. And if you really, you know, could, you would, um, drink it or use it with your cereal or with your coffee or something like that is more what I would probably use it for or with cooking. Uh, we don't drink a lot of milk around here, but I decided to take that suggestion and spent $5 on evaporated milk. And back here, I don't think I showed, we got just some salsa, again, just to have in the cupboard with fajitas. Some people like their salsa. This um, solid white tuna, I thought was still a pretty good deal. This was, I believe, $1.39. I do like the solid white. Um, this is albacore. So this was the most expensive option they have at Aldi. I did look for this. This is Dolphin Safe. Um... So for $1.39 for the most expensive one, I thought that was good. All the protein and, you know, it makes a great lunch sandwich. Again, I'll mix that with the mayo and use some crackers. So that lunchable idea. Um, so that was what I decided to get. Here is some canned chicken breast. A really super easy dinner I make. I do two cans of chicken breast. And the... Pretty much the entire thing of sour cream. You kind of mix the two. Some seasoning spices. You could do jalapenos. You could do green chilies. And then you wrap them in the tortillas and bake it. And they're like, it's a sour cream enchilada would be called. But you don't use any enchilada sauce. Super easy dinner. Delicious. All in cans. You know, ready to go. Something you'd have with you. Cupboard. Mostly shelf stable. You'd need to buy the sour cream. But... It's good, you know, backup option. Super easy dinner to throw together. I got two of these. I was having a hard time finding them. They weren't constantly having them at Aldi, so got two to stock up. I love, if you are into trying to cut some of the carbs out, these are delicious. They're so, I don't even know if you can tell, like they're so soft. They taste so good, exactly. Try them out. Turkey lunch meat, that's mostly Dan, takes sandwiches uh, with the lunch meat and he picked out some sharp cheddar cheese that's mostly what he would do cream cheese I would even do the cream cheese as a lunchable cheese option uh, with the crackers and cheese love baby bell they are pricey but oh they're delicious this feta if you get this the chunk feta in the brine at your Aldi my Aldi does not always carry it Seems to be a specialty item, but the Aldi across town always has it. I was at my regular Aldi and they had it, so I was really happy to see it, but try it. If you like feta, oh, it's delicious. Yum. Stack up on some pickles. Again, good for your lunches. Some dill. Some sweet. Love them sweet pickles. Some shredded cheddar cheese. Cheese cubes. A Lunchable itself, if Olivia wants to take one day. Um, we got a couple things to 
stock up on oregano and this ginger. This is that paste, you know, the squeezable ginger, so that's good. This is another product you need to try. These are fresh, tilapia, never frozen. Um, I believe there'll be at least two in this packaging, maybe three. I got two of them for us for dinner tomorrow night. It is so delicious. It, they do a really good job, Aldi does, that it is fresh, never frozen. You can tell the difference. It's really good. I think I'm just going to cook that up with some of the lemons. Um, just pan fry it. Uh, no breading or no coating or anything. I think we're feeling like we need some health food in our life. <laughs> um, and maybe some of them potatoes will be good. This is another product I buy regularly from Aldi. Again, kind of just stock up. I don't have a recipe going yet, but who doesn't love bacon? And I always get this lower sodium. Uh, even my husband, who would normally, you know, wouldn't like it. We bought lower sodium canned vegetables, and he did not care for them. Does not notice a difference. It's really good. It's definitely really good. Try it out. See if anybody notices in your house. Some chicken strips. I had just previously bought a large uh, container of Chick-fil-A sauce, so who doesn't love some chicken strips and Chick-fil-A sauce? It's a great snack, lunch, early dinner, quick and easy, whatever you got. This was one of their, you know, special items that they don't have all the time. Tyson Thin Sliced Boneless Skinless Chicken Breasts, 2.25 pounds for $6.95, so... Really good deal. Thought that was great. Going to make the chicken fajitas with that. I probably will make all of it. Um, and then we'd have some chicken left over. Like I said, I could put with that cauliflower rice. Put just in a tortilla wrap. Um, even if the vegetables are all gone, you know, swap it out. Do something else with it and you'll have the chicken. These are Dan's favorite kind of yogurts. Cherry is his absolute favorite flavor. They got blueberry and maybe a yeah, strawberry. Those little yogurts. I think that's a fruit on the bottom type yogurt. Um, this is one of my favorite items there all the time I get like to get. Zero sugar French vanilla coffee creamer. Before vacation for the first two weeks, two to three weeks it was of June, I was drinking my coffee black, but I got back to putting all that cream in it. So... <laughs> I will try it again. Maybe I'll try again in July. We'll see. Or some other time. I got these lemon. These are by far the best price. Um, however, we have really switched to the bubbly brand, which you cannot get at Aldi. Um, but I got these as some backups because this is Dan's preferred drink during the day. It really is just water. So that's good. He works outside. So that's good. It's, you know, sugar-free, calorie-free, sodium-free. So it's good to have some water. And it gets hot, even in Michigan. I guess you could say it's getting a little bit hot. <laughs> uh, we get those one day of 100, and then it goes back down to 80. So we're not doing so bad as some others, I know. Some of y'all are sweating. Um, we got a dozen eggs. The price of eggs is uh, getting better. Let's say that. I don't know if it's good. It was $1.99 for 12 eggs. Thought that was better. Love this bread. Our whole family loves this 12 grain bread. I will even just do one slice with some peanut butter and a sliced banana. Mm, delicious breakfast. I have not bought these before, but I thought I would go ahead and try them out. Um, some three blade razors from Aldi brand. So we'll check it out, see how it works. I, I usually don't have any issue with razors. My um, hair, I'm fair skinned and I got fair hair, so it, it's not very problematic. Um, I'll come back to this. We've got just some sandwich bags and tried some crust toothpaste. And this was a pajama set I thought was really cute. It has um, longer pants, and it has a t-shirt material. This material is so soft. That is why I decided to get it. I think it was $12.99. So for myself, uh, somebody had already opened this one up, which I was glad for because my typical size is large, and I decided to get an extra large. I don't know if it'll show on camera too well, but, you know, I want my pajamas loose, floppy, comfy, 
So I decided to go ahead and size up and get the one that was open. I want it to be baggy and flowy um, on me. And I got pants. My, um, I get cold easily. So they had super cute, you may, I may have showed you, tank top and short sets. But it's, it's cold in the house to me at 72 degrees. So I like more of a something more to wear. And there we go. Aldi haul. Through all of my scrolling, I had come across this uh, little sign about what to be grateful for. I will post it picture right here. And it really just challenged myself to, you know, every day to find something you're grateful for. We have so much going on in our nation, in the world right now. So many things that you can be distracted by, concerned with upset about reasons to be angry and upset and everything. And I just think if you have a grateful attitude, it can just give peace to yourself. And I really hope that, you know, you can uh, come along with me. I'm going to challenge myself just every day to think of something that I am grateful for. I really like the list. You know, it tells you uh, different things to think about to be more specific. And so one of them was like something you're grateful for that you uh, cannot buy. So nothing, including money. And yesterday I did, uh, we were coming home from vacation and we were in the car for around 10 hours. But, you know, I believe it was one of my daughters was like said, oh, look over there. And the sunset was just beautiful. It was so amazing. And in that moment, I just said, thank you so much, God. That sunset is just amazing. Thank you for bringing it to our attention. And I'm just so grateful that I was able to see that today and share that. And, you know, just, just fill yourself with that. And hopefully, you know, things will start looking up for you. I know that people are going through a lot. And I am just hope to show some sunshine, some gratitude, some um, different things with you guys. I so appreciate you watching. Please subscribe. And I will see you next time. Bye.